You know, Jeff, New Mexicans got a punch in the gut when they lost their jobs. A mine is closed after nearly 100 years as the economic lifeblood of Cuesta in northern New Mexico. Tonight, Action 7 News reporter Nancy Laughlin tells us what's next, both for the workers and their town. Sky 7 shows us stunning mountains, green trees, and a scar from a mine that's been part of the northern New Mexico landscape since 1918. Chevron operated this mine for nearly 100 years until Monday. It's pretty sad to see our, uh, my co-workers and it's just very saddening for everybody, for the whole community, the whole northern part of uh, Taos County. Like many in Taos County, this mine was Max Ortega's livelihood, but now Chevron told its employees, including Ortega, their work here is done. We don't feel that the mine can uh, be economically viable any longer. Chevron says the mountain has been mined so long it's tough to get to the ore. The company was spending more than it was making, so it decided to pull the plug. 175 people have already worked their final shifts. 125 will stay on until August to help close up shop, and others will remain on Chevron's payroll to clean up water and soil, as the federal government has mandated. Those are costs that we're going to bear under any circumstance. Now towns and villages across northern New Mexico must figure out where they go from here. Mayor Mark Gallego says everyone in Cuesta depended on the mine. He says the area will now promote itself as a hunting and fishing destination. We'll diversify ourselves into being an outdoor community and, and bringing in recreation, bringing in all those sport enthusiasts to Cuesta. Gallego says the entire community will have to help each other through a difficult, historic transition. It's just very, it's been an emotional day, very sad. In northern New Mexico, Nancy Laughlin, KOAT Action 7 News. Workers will still be paid for the next two months.